Hey guys, Ben here. Uh, it's been a while since I've actually turned the compost. I've been really lazy about the compost because if I'm being honest, I feel like I have too much compost. The reason why I say that is because as you know, I've gotten a lot of wood chips delivered to the property. A lot of those wood chips have been breaking down in the garden and I've been sort of picking that up putting it into the beds and it has made the beds a little mulchier but ultimately the stuff still grows in it just fine and I might have a slight nitrogen problem for sure but I definitely don't have an organic matter problem anyways I'm gonna go ahead and give this guy a turn it's it's been a while and so I'm definitely due this particular compost bin, it's got a lot of the pine shavings from when I was brooding the chickens. And there's a lot of leaves, everything from oak leaves to pine needles in there uh, from when I was raking up the fall leaves. It might be heavy in carbon, but the truth is it's kind of stinky down at the bottom, which means it's probably gone anaerobic. Most of that is really my fault. It's just not getting enough oxygen in these bins. I'm starting to wonder if I should maybe make a few more holes in these uh, trash bins. I'm actually a little bit surprised at how little this is broken down, which tells me I really haven't been paying attention to this compost pile. I'm trying my best to layer some of that drier uh, brooding material with this really wet leaves and leftover junk. Hopefully that'll help aerate the pile. I'm actually going to leave the pile the way that it is right now. I don't want to pack it down. I want to leave it as fluffy as possible. I'm pretty sure that's going to settle over time, but I'm going to go ahead and take this and toss it into one of the other bins and give it a little more time to break down. Who knows, maybe I'll just make a pile in the back. But as I do this, I'm really going to need to figure out what to do with all of this organic material. I know it sounds weird to complain about that, but the fact is this isn't exactly the highest quality compost as you saw. It's just, it's very chunky. There's whole materials in there. It still has a long ways to go in terms of breaking down, but as it does break down, I'm gonna need to find uses for it if it was a little finer i would i'd actually spread it in the yard if i didn't need it in the vegetable gardens i do have some raised beds that i think i'll probably be using these for once i pull the potatoes out because once the potatoes come out i have a feeling that bed is going to sink significantly and it's going to need some additional soil and i think if i bury this in there let it rest once it's underneath all that living soil, I think that it's gonna do a lot better in terms of breaking down. Until then though, I think I'm gonna leave you guys here and I'll keep working at this as always. Uh, thank you for your time and uh, y'all be good. I'll see you on the next one.